What's up everybody? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris and today I'm going to go over my Knowles Farm Sense pre-order that was done in, my gosh, the heat did this so fast. Um, when did we do this? I think it was mid-October or was it November? I don't know. He turned it around in like four weeks, five weeks, maybe. It was fast super fast. Um, anyway, I received this the other day. I can't remember. Anyway, and I haven't had time to film it or anything, but I didn't even open it. See, it's unopened. I'm going to open it up and we're going to go through what's inside. And I am so excited because I do remember a few of the scents I ordered and I cannot wait to smell them. So that being said, let's get started. Alrighty, so I've opened the box because, um, you know, I like to show how things are packaged. And Travis and his wife Amber do a beautiful job of their packaging. So I'll we'll open this up. Um, I am feeling much more chipper today than I was last night when I filmed. Who did I film last night? Oh, Salt Mountain Mounts. I was just, oh, I was dead to the world. And yeah, and it showed. I mean, I was just, yeah. Anyway, got our little worms in here. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'll show you. I'm just gonna take these worms off the top and throw them somewhere. <laughs> now I've got a box right next to me. I'm gonna drop them in there. And there we go. All right. So, you know, right when I opened the box up, I could smell the wax. I really, Knowles Farm Scents has become one of my favorite vendors. I, anyway, we have a thank you inside okay this is nice hi chris thank you so much hope all is well blessings travis and amber amber is his wife okay now we've got basically there's some tips in here for melting um and where to find him on social media and i will put that in the description box below for you it's business card and it was a his Business was established in 2018, and he is in Illinois. Okay. I think this is just my invoice here. Yes. Oh, I like that he put this with the with the prices on there. That's great. Okay. But I think those were... I think he did a Black Friday special pricing. You know what? I'm like... I'm just confused. No, there was some kind of gift he... Did it ahead of time. Yeah. So I'm not going to give you the prices because I don't know. I think these were sale prices. It was, I think it was like 10% off he gave. It was like an early Black Friday gift type of thing. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So we'll just say, I'll just tell you his price. And prices are very reasonable. Um... Nothing, you know, crazy. Because, you know, let's face it, some vendors are a little pricey. Um, and we pay it. But, you know, I'm just saying. You know, when you buy a lot of wax, you got to kind of sometimes be a little mindful of that. Okay, so we have some... I don't remember ordering that. Okay, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> um samples this one here is pink frosted animal cracker and i like the labels i like how he does his labeling it's everything about Knowles farms farm sense everything's very clean the aesthetic is very clean i like that so let's see what does pink frosted animal cracker smell like 
Wow, it smells like a pig frosted animal cracker. That's crazy. Oh, that is so weird. Just sometimes I do that. Like when you, I get a wax and I'll be like, oh, I can't believe it really smells like that. Like super authentic. It smells like you opened up. Oh, that's weird. There's a little bit of a hint of a lemon in there that must be in the frosting or very good. It smells like the pink frosted animal crackers. Very. Oh, wow. I like this a lot. That's good. All right. I have to keep that on my radar. And then he does these, and I absolutely love these. They're called Waste Not Chunk. So basically, this is like whatever. Um, so, you know, I think and it says we have no idea what scents these are. Enjoy. Basically, you know, when they're pouring or whatever, there's going to be a little bit of wax left over that they can't really use, right? It's not gonna work out for a little square, whatever. So I'm assuming they pour, it looks to me like possibly like a loaf pan or maybe a larger pan because as you can see, the striations in the wax. So there's different colors here that go up and they'll let that harden and chop it up and there you go. So let's open it up. I do. I love these. I just think it's genius because why waste it? Oh. Definitely picking up lemon here. It reminds me of something. It instantly reminded me of something when I opened it. Trick cereal. Oh, and down in here, I'm picking up like a cherry note. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's very, yeah, this is really good. It reminds me of Fruit Loops. Like, it has like a Fruit Loop scent. I like that. Yeah, these are fun. These are a lot of fun. It's like a mystery. You just don't know. That's fun. Okay, so let's get into what I ordered. Now, I did get, he had chunk bags available, loaves. I don't know if he had anything else available because I basically got the chunk bags and the loaves. And I'll tell you the reasoning why I got chunk bags in some things and loaves in another. Pumpkin pie pound cake. This was, for me, the scent that did it all for me. This is what sold me. I was like, oh my God, it is the best pumpkin. Is this it? Yeah. It's the best pumpkin ever. It is pumpkin pie, pumpkin souffle, and vanilla pound cake. Now, you're probably wondering, though, why did you only get the chunks? Because I already have two loaves. I did a couple custom orders and I ordered, each time I ordered a loaf. And then when he had the pre-sale, I was like, or the, yeah, the pre-sale, I was like, do I need another loaf? I said, no, let me just get some chunks, just to, you know. Mm. To me, this is what this smells like to me. The actual filling of a pumpkin pie. That fluffy pumpkin yumminess in a pie it's just it's it's like you, if, if I eat like I think I said in another video if you blindfolded me and somebody put this under my nose instantly I picture a fork there with the pumpkin pie on it it is the best pumpkin I have that I've ever had. It's so good. It is so good because it really just smells like pumpkin pie. That's to me. I mean, it's it's pumpkin pie. Well, it's pumpkin pie pound cake. It's pumpkin pie, pumpkin souffle, vanilla pound cake. It's just so, so good. 
like I said, this is the one that sold me. I was like, that's it. I'm all in. I mean, there was other things that I had too. But this one was just like, it blew me away. And I knew instantly I need more. And I think at that time I had only had the mini cube bags that they had. You know, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six or eight cubes to a bag. And... I knew that. I said, I have to get my hands on more of this. So I had did a custom order. So I, you know, got the master list. <laughs> I bought a few other things too. But. Okay. The next one. Furtastic Marshmallow Dreams. And this is fur, pine, buttercream, sugar cookie, marshmallow, marshmallow and sugar. This was Port 1111. I got this in a chunk bag, which are very good size. Why did I get a chunk bag in this if you love Knowles Farm scent so much? Because if you've watched me, you know. Chris doesn't do trees well. But I have been experimenting in trying everybody's trees to see if who has good trees. So... I said, all right, well, I'm going to get it because I want it pretty much. I think I got everything on the pre-order list, I think. Everything he offered, I feel like I ordered. There may have been one or there may have been a couple I didn't. Anyway, um, but I wanted to try it. I said, well, let me try, let me try Travis's trees. So here we go. Let that air out a little bit because I'm sure the tree note is going to jump out of here first because, because it's a tree. Okay. I can't really go like, oh. I can't. You know why? This is not that for me. A lot of times when I smell these tree scents, they're like so sharp. I mean like that medicinal sharp. And this one isn't. It's this one's a this is actually different than any tree I've ever smelled. It's, how can I explain it? It's like real. It's, there's like a green note in here, like a little grassy. The tree is there, but it's woody. I'm getting a woodiness, not just that needle. There's wood here too. I'm trying to see if I can get the buttercream and the sugar cookie and marshmallow and sugar out of it. Right now, I am not. Me need a little more time. But I'm, I'm excited to try this one. I'm going to let this one sit a while. Um... This is not what I was expecting when I opened it. I thought it was going to be that sharp tree jumping out in my nose. Um, yeah. Fantastic Marshmallow Dreams. This might be, this could be a winner. Because it's not, I don't instantly get offended by it. And I like the fact that I could actually smell the wood of the tree here. Not just those, just those, those needles, those pine needles. That's, I've never smelled that before in any tree wax. I've never actually smelled the bark of the tree. And I could smell the bark of the tree on this. That I do like. Here's another one. Berrylicious Evergreen. This is a blackberry and sugared spruce. Okay, so... This was poured 1118. 
Again, this one's very new. Come on. I like his bags. Thick, heavy. All right, I want to open ear out a little bit. I got more chunk bags than I thought. Wow, interesting. I'm picking up a lot of blackberry here. Minimal tree. But just enough to know that it's in there. It's there. Interesting. Okay, this will be nice to melt. This is good for people like me who don't like those trees. Those really super, super strong tree scent. This is very, very mild. Super mild. I'm impressed with this. Okay. Great job. I'm getting more of the blackberry here. Completely blackberry. And the sugared spruce is adding just um, earthiness. Okay, that's another tree that's a strong possibility for me that it will work for me. Yeah, I wonder what my thinking was when I ordered these chunk bags for these. Okay, this one here is called Let's Get Cozy, and it's Cocoa Butter, Cashmere, and Palo Santo. I know why I got it. just got the chunk bag in this. Um, I have a lot of scents that are... Uh, the, that cocoa butter cashmere and palo and I thought how much do I need uh, so I only went in and I got the chunk bag oh that's nice that's real nice very perfumey now, I don't want to use the word perfumey well yeah I guess it is Yeah, I do. I like this. Um, definitely getting the cashmere here. And it's very pretty. And I know there's Palo Santo and it's cocoa butter cashmere. But I almost get a, a summery vibe from this. That's weird. And this was Port 1121. This again very new this is pretty but I I don't know what it what it is about it but I'm picking up a summery vibe <clears throat> I'm not getting a lot of Palo in here Palo is subtle for me again might need to sit a bit and a lot of times what happens is some notes they're stronger than others, and when you warm it, the other notes that are listed start to come alive. They kind of like lay dormant, you know? But once it gets warm, they just, <clears throat> they just release. And, you know, that's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I like this one. And this is Mad Tea Party. I have had this in a snap bar, a couple snap bars, and it's fantastic. Mad Tea Party is almond macaron, macaron, vanilla cupcakes, vanilla icing, and lavender tea. This is so pretty. And this was poured 11.9. I feel like that his pre-order was the 2nd of November. I don't know why that's hitting me. That's how fast... The turnaround was. I mean, this wasn't even like a pre-order. This was just like buying some wax. It was fantastic. Yeah, this is just so good. It's almondy. Um, it's just, and it, there's a brightness in here. Um, 
And I know every time when I've even, I noticed it in the other times I've melted it and I've had it before. <clears throat> I pick up this lemon scent, like a bright lemony scent. It's not like front and center, but it's there. There's like just this lemon note, like a citrus note. This is so good. I mean, it's just, it's almond cakey. Um, I think the lavender tea might be giving it that, that, that lemon vibe, maybe. It's just really, really good. You get the vanilla in here and the icing in there. It's beautiful. I absolutely love Mad Tea Party. I don't know why I got a chunk bag. I don't know. I think part of me was thinking a lot along the lines of how much wax I really have. So, anyway, Mad Tea Party. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely love the scent. All right. The next one is Marsala Chai. It's cumin, cardamom, star anise, honey, and milk. That's Marsala Chai. I like chai. My niece, we had my uh, granddaughter's birthday. Uh, she just turned three on the second. And my niece loves to bake. And she brought to the party these cookies she made. And they were, um, what did she call them? Chai tea cookies? I think they were just called chai tea cookies. Oh my God. They were out of this world. They were so good. I mean, good. And then she made these other cookies, marshmallow s'mores cookies. They were good, too. She's an excellent baker. Anyway, Marcella, she takes after her mother, my sister. My sister's a fantastic baker, too. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Oh, really? You guys. I can't stop smelling it. I actually smell the milk in here. The star anise in here is perfect because it's not taking over and giving you that heavy licorice note. The honey is making it nice and sweet. The milk is making it creamy. And then you get that beautiful blend of the cumin, the cardamom, and the star anise. Oh, this smells like a lovely cup of, of chai latte. This is unbelievable. Oh, wow. So good. So good. Okay. Mm. Just saying. Okay, rustic cookie cabin. Um, this is sugar cookie dough bread roasted in roasted pine cone. I don't know. You know what? I don't know why this one scared me because I like roasted pine cone. I guess in my mind I was thinking trees and I was a little afraid. So, you know. Let's see. This is good. You really get the sugar cookie dough bread. Okay. It's there. But that roasted pine cone. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. The, the, the roasted pine cone. I've smelled other blends of other wax, other vendors. I'm not going to say who the vendor is because there's many of them. I have a lot. Um, sometimes roasted pine cone is like too much roasted pine cone. And this 
is like, oh, it's the perfect amount. It is so good. I want the loaf. I want a loaf. So stupid. The sugar cookie dough bread, it's a sweet, it just smells like a sweet bread. This beautiful sweet bread note with the subtle, little more than subtle, roasted pine cone. Smell both. I smell both. 50-50. Perfection. It's not like... You know, 75% roasted pine cone with 25% sugar cookie dough bread. It's 50-50. When my nose goes in, I smell both of them. Oh, this is, this is really, oh, so good. Okay, I'm pulling my, you know, favorites. Okay, then we have Tis the Season which is green tart juicy apple, green tart juicy apple, cranberry, cinnamon, and vanilla. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is nice. This gives you that holiday feel. When was this poured? 11 11. It smells strong enough to melt now. I love this green tart juicy apple. Again, I like the balance in the blend. I'm and you get the apple, getting the cranberry, getting the cinnamon, and the vanilla is actually there. And it makes it um makes it feel a little bit. <sighs> like it gives you a little warmth, a little bit. It almost makes it smooth. It almost like takes all those notes and just smooths them out. Like, you know, like say you're spackling a wall, the vanilla fills in the holes. Yeah, I'm weird. I know. Oh, totally get the cranberry in here. The cinnamon. Let me see if I can. I think I'd say it's red hot cinnamon, but again, it's so, no, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't. It's perfect. Cause I, again, like the sugar dough, rusted cookie cabin. It's, everything is like, Perfectly balanced. I want to learn how to make wax. No, I don't. I ain't got time. Oh, gosh. This is wonderful. I'll be melting this soon. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. You know what I'm thinking? If you put just a little teeny, teeny, tiny, 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 teeny, tiny bit of tree in it. Yeah. So you could take a little bit of the, you know, maybe the Berrylicious or something and just put it in. I don't know. Okay. Let's get to my lobies. Which one do I want to look at first? Okay. We're going to do this one first. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Marshmallow, sandalwood, magnolia, and whipped cream. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. This was poured on 11 7. Oh, I love this. This is my kind of smell. 
oh, the creaminess and the, the whipped cream and the sandalwood and the, oh. This is beautiful. So beautiful. Do I want to take it out? See, I mean, I'm doing wax all over. Look, it's got my shirt on. Okay. Just let it fall. The sandalwood, everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. If you don't like floral, don't be afraid that this has magnolia in it. Because it's it's soft. Very soft. And I think it's from the marshmallow and the whipped cream and that sandalwood. That this is <sighs> This is heaven right here. Oh. Toward the end of winter, I'm just saying that's going to be high on my list to start melting. Um, Don't want to waste a crumb of this wax. So, just picking it up off my desk. Uh, yeah. This is, yeah. That's unbelievable. Unbelievably good. Put it in upside down. There we go. So good. Okay. Board, boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds winner. Unreal. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to this one next. This is Beach Evenings. Roasted marshmallow, sea salt, ginger blossom, vanilla, and driftwood. Ginger Blossom. I like that. I like the sound of that one. There we go. And this was poured on 11.5. You know what? I know I'm going to be crazy about this one. I just know it. I just know it. Because I love sea salt and the roasted marshmallow. I love the Beach Nights blends. So. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every time I get an order from Knowles Farm Scents, it's higher and higher on my list of favorites. And you all know my favorite is Sassy Girl. Travis, you and your wife are right under her. I. This is un. Mm, Beautiful marshmallow. The sea salt in here is perfect. It's like the perfect amount of salt to a dish, you know, of food. The driftwood. I think what I really enjoy about Travis's wax is... You smell everything, usually, that's in there, but nothing is screaming at you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't open this and be like, whoa, sea salt. No, you just get this beautiful blend of marshmallows, sea salt, vanilla, driftwood. There's ginger blossom in here, but I don't smell anything other than those scents. However, I can't, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure what ginger blossom smells like. 
you know, I know what ginger smells like. Um, but I don't know what ginger blossom smells like. I'm going to pop it out. This is just so beautiful. That toasted marshmallow. Oh. And the sea salt. It's there and it's just perfect. Again, this is sweet. It's it's happy. Just like the boardwalk marshmallow clouds. It's just happiness. When you smell it, it's just, it's those creamy, creamy scents that are just beautiful. And you would wear it as a perfume and smell delicious and sensual and sexy. And it's just, wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful blend. Beach evenings. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> I've got a lot of really like yeah good favorites here then. Okay. Alright, we'll go to this one. We've got the good stuff. This one is sugar cookie dough bread in Palo Santo. What was that other one that I liked so much that was sugar cookie dough? And I said, why didn't I get a uh, roasted pine cone? But the good stuff, I did get the loaf. Sugar cookie dough, the bread, you get this beautiful sweet bread note. And it's like a, the, the, the bread is dense, but it's sweet. And then you come along and you get this smoky, sexy Palo Santo. Yeah. Unreal. Jeez. <laughs> This is amazing. The Palo in here is so beautiful. Beautiful. It's sweet. Like, mm. it's a beautiful smoky note. It's creamy smoky. It's, it's not that um, harsh smoky note it's creamy it's it adds like a beautiful like almost like a perfume to it like without being perfume like it's so fragrant is what i'm trying it's fragrant and mixing it with that sugar cookie dough bread is like oh my gosh that's amazing oh and again just like the other one. It's a 50-50 blend to my nose. Both are equally there and beautiful. The good stuff. This one's on my high on my list too. Gonna. Yeah. When this goes on my spreadsheet, quite a few of these are going to be have repurchased next to them. So that I know to go back and get more. Or something I will want more of again in the future. <clears throat> okay, let's try. I was really excited for this one. This is Holiday Truffle. And that is raspberry, white chocolate, pecan, butter, brown sugar, vanilla, and toffee. Really? Really? Beautiful color. It's pretty pink. Ha 
holiday truffle. I'm going to read these scent notes again. Raspberry, white chocolate, pecan, butter, brown sugar, vanilla, and toffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Really? I don't know what I, uh, the raspberry in here is beautiful. It's not body care like raspberry. It's a nice, juicy raspberry. Okay, so let me see. What else am I picking up? Oh. It's creamy. It's a creamy raspberry. I don't know if maybe the white chocolate is making it smell creamy. Isn't that pretty? I just love a loaf. Oh, God. This is so good. Oh, what is that? What is that? Brown sugar. Do I smell pecan? Is a buttery pecan? There's that's a buttery pecan note. Vanilla's light. This is the most beautiful raspberry. It's just beautiful. It's juicy. It's like a juicy raspberry. And everything's real creamy. And yeah, this is good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's holiday truffle. And it is pretty damn amazing. That was port 1115. So I feel like a lot of these scents are really good to go. All right, let's do Sinfully Delightful. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. He does a beautiful, fabulous uh, strawberry pound cake, by the way. Uh, warm vanilla sugar. Ooh, Palo Santo and waffle cone. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Did I show it to you? I don't remember. Sorry. You know, I'm excited. I've been holding this for a few days now, and I, I, I've been dying to get into it. <clears throat> okay, just let me, let me just, you know, take a moment. Talk amongst yourselves. Mm. Okay. First of all, I smell that amazing strawberry pound cake that he does. Beautiful strawberry. It's not that waxy, icky, artificial melon strawberry. You know what I'm talking about. And then we get the Palo Santo in here, but it's not like a ton. Like, you know, the good stuff is like a, you know, like a 50-50 blend. Nope. Nope. We've got, because we've got other notes in here. So we got this waffle cone, mm, which is giving it that, like, Makes whenever I smell waffle cone, it makes me feel like I'm uh, um, I pick up like carnivals or festivals. But this Palo Santo with that strawberry, oh, very good. 
warm vanilla sugar. I don't know if I'm getting that. No, oh, maybe there it is. There it is. Mmm. Yes. There you see, you get that hint of that warm vanilla sugar in here. That waffle cone's nice. I like the waffle cone. This is, yeah, this is good. Okay. All right. So last but not least. I've been waiting for this. And my gut is telling me I probably should have got two loaves. Just like I should have got two loaves of the good stuff. Beach evenings and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Yeah, I should have. Treats by the fireplace. Now, treats by the fireplace. This was just poured on 11... 24 it is sugar cookie royal sweet bakery dough zucchini bread and by the fireplace The zucchini bread. Oh, that by the fireplace is so beautiful. Oh, man. Okay. I love his zucchini bread. This is sweet, and the zucchini bread is a sweet, dense, rich zucchini bread. And then you just get the whiff of that by the fireplace, and it's so beautiful. This should have been a two loafer. Now, why am I being greedy like that? I got like a thousand pieces of wax, and I'm saying I should have got two loaves of this. Stupid. Oh. The more this is sitting here in my hand, the more I'm smelling by the fireplace. In this sweet, sweet bratty note. Probably coming from that sugar cookie in the sweet bakery dough. Mmm. I can't give you the scent notes of By the Fireplace because off the top of my head, I really don't know. All I could tell you is By the Fireplace smells amazing. This is unbelievable. Wow. Okay. I, I gotta stop. All right, see, so like everybody's been trying like, you know, to do like their top five or whatever. I have been unable so far with <laughs> to pick my top fives for any of my vendor hauls I've been doing. I haven't been able to do it. So I got more than five here. Okay. So I'm going to give you my top. I don't know if it'll be five or not, but I'm going to give you my top. What will definitely be a repurchase for me. <laughs> right here, treats by the fireplace. This is, uh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. 
gorgeous. I mean, I want that throughout the whole house. Now, if I do something like that, then I should have got two loaves. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Um, oh, this is so hard. Okay, this is easy right here. Beach evenings and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, amazing. Um, the good stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That was good. I'm picking everything up now. I'm not vanilla pound cake's not in this list. Like we're gonna take that right out because that's already been stated before prior that it's a love. These other things here that I'm going through are all new to me, like from Noel's farm. Um, yeah, so that's why you know I'm I'm not putting vanilla pumpkin in there. Um Darn it. Okay, I'm not going to do a holiday. Anything holiday-ish, I'm not putting in there. The other one, Marcella Chai and Rustic Cookie Cabin. These two right here should have been loaves. Hands down, they should have been loaves. And they're not, and I'm really sad because they're not. He's on vacation now, or soon. He's taking a break. Um, a much needed rest. He poured, him and his wife poured a lot of wax, and they need the break. But when he opens up, they need to be loaves. If you're watching, Travis, I should have got loaves. Yeah. Okay. Now, just to briefly recap these other ones, pumpkin pie pound cake doesn't count. That was just kind of like, well, let me throw an extra bag into my stockpile of it that I've already got. Okay. Let's talk about our trees. I'm not scared, but I'm not going to say, oh my God, it's the best. Not yet. They got to sit for just a little bit longer, just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to melt it. But... On cold sniff, I'm I'm very hopeful on these, especially this fantastic marshmallow dreams. This one here, well, I told you already, so I'm very hopeful on those. Uh, let's get cozy. It's just your beautiful, beautiful bedroom scent. It's beautiful. Tis the season. This was a a surprise. There's, this is enough to the season for me. This, to me, is very holiday. Perfect amount. Mad Tea Party. I love Mad Tea Party. I don't know why I didn't get a loaf in it, but I didn't. So, there you have it. That's my haul from Noel's Farm pre-order that he had. <laughs> Jeez, I, it was like four weeks ago. I, I can't even imagine how hard they worked to get this order out so quickly. But I am very appreciative that they did um fantastic company really good people you know i highly recommend this vendor i really really do yeah he's i keep saying he because i just i just think i just think of it as travis um but it is both him and his wife um his wife is Amber. I think I always refer to Travis because Travis is on the social media. We're the, you know, we're, when we interact on, you know, the, you know, Facebook or whatever, it's, you know, usually I'm like, once in a while I think Amber has popped in there. But anyway, I'm, whatever. <laughs> Squirrel. 
I highly recommend this. I, honest to God, I've had no flops or I've everything I've melted has done very well. His scents are beautiful. They're blended beautiful. Um, I'm excited for these new ones. I really, really am. Support your small business, people. Honest to God, it's the small business owners that help our economy. We're the ones that put the money back into the economy, not Walmart. And, you know, I don't want to knock anybody. I shouldn't do that. I'm just trying to stress that small business is so important. It's the heart of America. And, yeah, Travis's family is a beautiful family, good people, hardworking, and he puts out a great product, customer service, top-notch. I can't say enough about this vendor. It's fantastic. Check them out. I'm going to have, it'll be in my description box below, the the website, his um, Instagram handle, and the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group because that's where you get a lot of people saying, oh, I'm melting this today. It smells like this. It smells like that. You just start to get more of a feel of other blends that he has. And, uh, yeah, so, again, definitely my top five. And uh, you never know. He might even jump above Sassy Girl. But he's definitely my number two. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or on it, just, you know, feel free to drop a comment in the, below here and uh, I will get to it as soon as I can. Or join that Facebook group and ask Travis himself if you got any questions. All right. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate the time you take out of your busy lives, your busy days, your schedule to watch a video I've uploaded. Um, it does mean an awful lot to me. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to do my Sassy Girl video here soon. I don't think it'll be tonight, but it's going to be soon, probably tomorrow. And um, we will talk soon. Bye.